Hey, what's up, my friend? Kalak and I here, and uh, you know, one of the questions I get very often is, you know, what is the future of affiliate marketing really, right? Like, is affiliate marketing really going to be around in the next three years, five years, ten years, that sort of thing? And a lot of the myth that I see online is people saying, oh, you know, affiliate marketing is dead. Uh, affiliate marketing is in the past. Uh, that's kind of like that's that's old news. Uh, it's it's being phased out. All these sorts of things and. Uh, I would have to say that I completely disagree with that concept and I'm about to show, share with you some stuff uh, that really debunks that, right? So let's, let's pop on over here and I'm just going to do a quick little search. I'm going to say Honey App. Let's, let's take a look at this. So I'm going to blow this up, make it a little bit bigger. Look at this. So I don't know if you're familiar with the Honey App. It's a little app, like a little extension that you add uh, to your browser. Uh, usually shows up right up here in the on the side here, and when you go to a website, um, if you uh, if the Honey app can see that you know for that similar website there's a coupon code or something else that you could use to bring the price down a little bit, it'll recommend that you use a different coupon code or buy on a different website through a different link or whatever. Right? I, I used it very briefly for a short period of time. But what most people don't know is that that app, when it uses those discount codes, basically they're getting credit for having referred the business uh, to the company or service uh, that you're signing up for, and therefore they're getting a commission for that. So a large part, not entirely, but a large part of their revenue is based on affiliate commissions. So check this out. PayPal decided to acquire uh, the shopping and rewards platform Honey for four billion dollars. That's November twentieth, two thousand and nineteen. So the Honey Science Corporation, right, the makers of the deal finding browser add on, add on, the deal finding browser add on and mobile application, they're buying that. PayPal looks like they're buying that for four billion dollars. All right. So let's take a look at one more. Let's look at Credit Karma. Oops, not even credit card website, sorry. Give me credit, karma, sold. Let's take a look at that one. All right, check this out, credit karma. So if you've ever signed up for credit karma, I've, I've, I've signed up for credit karma, a lot of people signed up for credit karma. You sign up, you go through the setup process, um, it gives you kind of a rough idea of what your credit score is and, and your credit history. And then uh, inside of the app, it has all of these, or inside of the website, it has, and I think there is a mobile app that goes along with it as well, I believe so. Uh, it, it recommends other credit cards that you can sign up for that you're most likely to, uh, to be able to qualify for, right? I actually got my American Express business cards through them. So the cards that my, my company uses, my department of operations, my department of marketing, uh, my marketing department, um, myself, the credit cards that we use for the various expenses in the business, we got because I was on Credit Karma looking at what were the best, the, the, the cards that I was most likely going to be approved for, uh, for business. Uh, so whenever they, so you go through this app, it pulls your credit score, it pulls your data for you, it aggregates it into one place and then it tells you, you know, if you want a, hot, if you want a mortgage, if you want a car loan, uh, if you want a credit card, go apply here. These are the places that you're most likely to qualify for based on you know, the data that it's able to pull up on you. Well, a huge portion of their revenue, a, a vast majority of their revenue is affiliate commissions because when they refer, for example, when they referred me to American Express, American Express most likely paid them a commission for that referral because I signed up through the Credit, through the credit Karma app, right? Well, check this out. So Credit Karma uh, was so earns revenue from lenders who pay the company when uh, let's see Credit Karma acquired. So on February twenty fourth, twenty twenty, Intuit announced that it planned to acquire Credit Karma for seven point one billion dollars. Right. So and those are just a couple of recent examples. So when people ask me, Kala, what is the future of affiliate marketing? Is it going to be here? Is it you know? Is it really going away? Guys, affiliate, affiliate marketing is not going anywhere, right? The, the thing just went enterprise, okay? This is enterprise level affiliate marketing at its best. Companies that have set themselves up, sell, up to get tons of affiliate commissions, build vast user databases, 
and then sell and exit uh, and sell to bigger companies who want to acquire them and hold them in, as part of their, their portfolio. That's epic, right? So if you ask, like, what do I think is the future of affiliate marketing? Yeah, there's still, there's still plenty of room out there for the little guy to get into the marketplace and start building an email list and start uh, uh, recommending offers to the marketplace and start earning commissions for that. And all of that is great and that will continue to happen. But I also see that as the marketplace continues to evolve, as the marketplace continues to you know, get smarter, uh, it seems like I think I think that the that we'll continue to see larger and larger commercial businesses add affiliate marketing as part of their revenue stream, right? Affiliate marketing, our affiliates, affiliates of our products make up about uh, I want to say on any given month about twenty to thirty percent of our entire revenue on any given month. So you know they they make up a pretty considerable uh, portion of our income, uh, and we not, so not only do we teach people. Uh, in one of my primary businesses, Full Stack Marketer, how to be an affiliate marketer or a digital marketer, but we also offer them the opportunity to sell our products as well and earn commissions. So we do that. I believe that we're gonna continue to see bigger and bigger companies continue to add that uh, revenue stream into their business model, right? To allow affiliates to come in and sell their products or services for them and earn commissions. I don't see why that would go away in any way, shape, or form. And I do, I do think that we will continue to see big enterprise level plays like this, where people create apps or browser extensions or websites that acquire a ton of users for a free product or a free little service like the Honey app or Credit Karma. It's something for free, doesn't cost them a lot, but what they do is then through that, that, that database and that user database, they're able to refer customers to products or services, earn commissions, build up a huge user database, and then exit and sell to larger companies for billions, right? So nothing, really, I think it's foolish to think that the affiliate marketing, right, the, to, to think about, to think that that market is ever going to go away. It's really just going to evolve and become better, I believe, right? Think about, like, how long throughout history, as long as there has been sales, there has been someone paying someone else a small portion of money to refer them customers. Probably since the day that sales started, right? Whoever created that idea, probably also the very next idea was, you know what? Not only will I get, will I sell stuff, I will pay other people who refer me customers to help me sell more stuff. Like, why not? It's been there throughout all of history. Why would it go away anytime soon, right? And that's really what the basis of affiliate marketing is. So we all get started somewhere. I think the majority of people, the easiest place to get started, if you don't have big investment capital, you don't wanna go out and raise money, obviously, the simplest way to start is to pick a niche, find an offer that you wanna to promote to that niche, start getting traffic to that offer, build an email list of people who are interested in that particular niche, and continue to send products to that email list. I don't think that that's going away anytime soon. That is the, obviously the easiest, most gorilla, most you know, uh, pound the pavement way of getting started, and it can become extremely uh, lucrative. Uh, I have a friend on my team. Uh, I have a buddy on my team right now who's built multiple lists into the hundreds of thousands. He's, gen he's generated as much as a hundred thousand leads in a single day, uh, and you know he's built huge lists that have paid him millions and millions of dollars. So you can create a fantastic lifestyle doing just that. Or you can go the enterprise route, raise capital, create an app or a website or a browser extension, build a huge user beta database and uh, liquidate that and create a billion dollar exit for yourself. My point is, it's here to stay, my friends. I'll see you in another video. Take care.